Well, ahoy sailors. It's the 16th of April, 2021. Uh, SV Ketzel is still at Thunderbolt Marine on the Wilmington River in Georgia. But just in an, about an hour or so, we're gonna cast off the lines from this dock, move over to the fuel dock, fill up all our tanks with as much diesel as we can hold. Uh, and actually we hold 325 gallons and we probably just need about 50 to top it off. But we're gonna need that fuel because we're gonna make an offshore run as far north as we can go, probably gonna have to stop at Beaufort. Um, but if we get lucky, maybe we'll go all the way around Hatteras into the bay. And it looks like almost all of that passage will be under motor given the current forecast, which is for very light and variable winds. Uh, there'll be a little bit of sailing in there from time to time, but it looks like only a couple hours at a time. Um, so not what we like to do, but right now uh, it's late April. We need to get back to the bay. We got got things we have to do, which is, as you know, the demise of most sailors. But we're being very cautious in this case. Lots of places where we can pull over and take a break if we need to. So come aboard uh, and let's see how it goes. Motoring about 400 miles offshore from Georgia to North Carolina or maybe even the Bay. Okay, well, we're underway. Heading down the Wilmington River. Coming up on the Savannah Yacht Club right there as he's still stowing away fenders as I look at the river we got about a two and a half hour run down the river to get to the ocean so start with motoring gonna probably continue with motoring lots of motoring yeah, at least somebody's sailing we a little bit of an angry inlet unusual we got a little bit of wind against the uh, current right here at the mouth it's about 7 30 sun's getting ready to set seas have flattened out quite a de quite a good bit the wind has died off so it's a lot more comfortable still a little bit lumpy but um, it's quite manageable now and then a noise you hear is the good old Yanmar just cranking along and I suspect that's what it'll do for the next 37 hours or so anyway but uh, Lizzie will come up at uh, 8 p.m. 2000 and uh, I'll go down and take a, take a nap for a couple hours and come back on and watch it at midnight. Hey everybody, well it's about uh, 1.30 a.m. And the seas have laid down nicely. The wind has died almost completely. And so we're, we're making much better time and it's a much smoother ride. Lizzie's down below taking a, taking a break. Uh, we're coming up on the Charleston Shipping Channel in about 10 nautical miles. So staying alert, keep an eye on the AIS because a lot of uh, movement there in the channel 24 hours a, a day. Looking at the forecast, it seems like we might get to do a little bit of sailing uh, as the sun comes up uh, tomorrow, well, this morning. Uh, it looks like the wind will shift and uh, increase to about 10 knots uh, out of the uh, west. So let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, give the engine a break, it'd be great. Check in with you later. Okay, here's our current challenge. Uh, Charleston Shipping Channel. This is the nautical Loridana cargo ship, about 600 feet in length, coming out. And I've adjusted my course so I should pass behind the Loridana. But this is the spirit of Melbourne coming in. Uh, and the real question is, will I be able to get across Charleston Channel before, <laughs> before he gets to me? Should be able to, but we will see. 
fun playing nautical frogger. Yeah, so what I'm doing now, actually we've got the sails up, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I've got a little bit of breeze, so we're giving the engine a break. And what I'm doing now is uh, moving fuel from the port tank back into the mid tank. And what I'm doing to do that is I'm running it through the fuel polisher. Uh, because we did have a issue in the fall with a bit of water in the in the port and the starboard tank. Um, and I just want to make sure that I, if there's any water still in there, it stays in the tank and not, doesn't go to the center tank where we're running the engine. Well, the good news is the engine's off. When we first uh, hoisted sail, we were going a little bit faster. We were making high five plus sixes, but of course, as soon as you do that, Neptune laughs. Says, let me turn off the fan. But I think we'll just uh, go along like this for a while because we we'll save fuel. Maybe the wind will pick back up, you never know. And we're motor sailing now. That didn't last long, huh? Uh, wind died off to like six, seven knots, just not enough to move this big boat. Uh, but we are still getting a little boost from the wind, so I left the sails up, uh, got the engine running, but just cruising on 1800 RPMs and making about six and a half knots, so that's good. It's better than nothing. Anyway, maybe the wind will pick back up. And here we are. Uh, 15 minutes later, going high fives, low sixes. <laughs> Never know what's gonna happen out here. Sure would love it if it would just stay like this for a while. Okay, well it's 4.30 on Saturday, the 17th of April. And with the exception of about Four hours this morning uh, when we were able to sail, which was lovely. Um, we've been running the engine, killing the, killing those dinosaurs. Whole herds of dinosaurs being sacrificed to get us up the coast. Well, that's all right. We should pass Frying Pan Shoals around 9.30, 10 p.m. tonight, and then it should be another 80 miles into Beaufort. At last check, the weather was still not conducive uh, late Sunday and Monday for rounding Hatteras. So we'll probably hold up in Beaufort for a few days and then look for the next window to get around Hatteras. We've had some clouds move in, but as yet no, no wind. Seemed like it was going to pick up from the um, south. For a little bit but not up just kind of hoping this would bring something well, that's a pretty spectacular sunset and the wind has picked up just slightly so we are motor sailing backed off on the throttle a little bit save some fuel busy Sunday. Little boats everywhere flying around. And uh, this is Sunday, a 108 foot sailboat coming out.
So here we are entering Taylor's Creek. Uh, Doc Master said, rig for port side tie, you'll go stern too. Then he came back after we rigged for port side tie and said, no, current's a little strong, why don't you come bow in? So rig for starboard side tie. So we had to redo everything. And it's crazy. It's a Sunday, nice weather, everybody with the little boats out running around. Well, SV Ketzel is tied up Beaufort Town Docks. It's the first time we've actually been here on any boat. Um, we've been to Beaufort, stayed at Town Creek. We've anchored, never stayed at the town docks. Uh, mainly because it's pretty expensive. But in this case, it's worth it.